Hello, Inspire Nation! What's up, everybody? Again, this is Elvi Resonales. Well, I'm so excited, guys. Today, you know, before we start our actual class today, you know, I just want to share something about anxiety. I believe hindi lang ako naka-experience sa anxiety. I know some of you are watching, especially to my Tax 42 Plus. Some of you are so excited uh, because of your qualifying exam and sometimes the unexpected no there are things na we don't see it coming but you know me even i especially in our work we always experience this like i experience kita anxiety guys and i just want to encourage you today that you know it's normal you know, it's normal to feel this being anxious you know even god promised us that you know we will have this hardship we will have this downfall in our lives but you know god says I am with you. He loves you. He cares for you guys. And I just want to pour out my heart tonight as I start this simple, simple conversation that guys, you are not alone. You are not alone. In the Bible says, gasiling siya. Psalms 139 verses 1 to 3, gasiling siya. Oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. Kilalagit kita sang gino. And just meditate on that. Lord, you search me. Kipangita ka ni Lord. And He loves you. He cares. You know, ga care gina gino sa imo. Kigsaton. And you know, this time is. It's time to pause for a while for all those things in life. No, sa ato mga problema. Yung gasiling siya, second line niya. You know, gistorya siya kay God. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. Abalo ang ginoo sa ato pagtulog, sa ato pagpahuway, sa ato yung studies. Even sa ato nga qualifying exam, you know. The Lord knows it. Kabalo ganyan ang ginoo nga. I believe makapasagit ka mo guys. And not only sa qualifying, but also sa CP board exam, no? You discern my thoughts from afar. So, kabalong gino sa ato na thoughts every day. He knows it. Everything that we have. Ano man ang handom natin sa ating tagipuson. And you search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. So, guys, especially sa class ko sa Tax 42, or whoever you are listening to this simple things just to in inspire to give you some dose of motivation today that keep on pressing on you can do it and sometimes you just need to relax yourself you know as we start this uh, session i know tanan kita magalern okay and i am so excited guys so for those that feel nila do alone sila you know you are not alone guys we are here. Even your classmates right there. They are just one shot away. One miss call. One, I mean, you know, sometimes one call away. You no, know, we don't want to miss those times that, you know, natapos natin ang content si program. But ang pamangkot is, may naupod ka bala sa mga success. You know, being successful at the top is so boring actually kung wala ka upod, No, So you have to help. We have to help each other. You know, I've been through that. And I want also this to impart my heart to you. You know, I love you. I love you guys. To be honest with you, it's 12.41 a.m. But you know, with all my heart, I make this simple presentation. This is my passion. I am not limited only to that box, you know. Every day, you go to that place of your purpose. Kumbaga, that's your uh, game plan. But you know, at the end of the day, it's who you are. It's who you are. Naging create sa gino. And guys, as we... Relax with these things. I know the Lord will be with you, will be with us. Okay? Okay. I think that's it. So remember this verse. And then you screenshot. You can type Amen in our live chat. And hopefully, may malarn pagit kita today. And I am so excited to share this part two sa atin nga uh, discussion. Exempt sales of goods, properties, and services. Natapos na natin ang goods and properties. Atin nga discussion today is services. But, okay, before that, sa mga wala naka-join sa aton, great, type there sa aton nga live chat, type amen. Absent ko kahapon because nadula akong wifi or huwag ko kahapon, sir, kay uh, gapangilap dito sa Gimaras, wala sing signal, or sir, naubusan ko sa load. You know, ang purpose sa aton nga YouTube live is um, at least after ma live na to, pwede nyo ma-watch Kay ga auto save siya, okay? And we are so thankful, no? For this technology. Uh, this, this is so challenging at ng Zoom, but still baka survive bang kita gapon, okay? Type okay or type I agree, sir. Let's go, let's go, let's dub, you know? And <laughs> just to motivate yourself. And I'm so pumped, man. I'm so pumped to uh, be with you. 
tonight, okay? And hopefully may ma-learn pagid kita. Okay, again, ang atong niya textbook by Bangawan, Business and Transfer Tax Taxation. So, yeah, we credit everything that we have here sa ating discussion to our book, okay? This is a, a very uh, well-organized, comprehensive, and well, this is not a paid uh, uh, advertisement, but no, we just want to acknowledge uh, this book, okay? Okay, as we continue, yeah, we will go through this recap, okay? So, please bear with me with our recap. So, we discussed yesterday about exam sales. Those exam sales are missing, not subject to sa VAT or percentage tax. So, Mamakot ka, sir. Ano na to? Gin-discuss na itong kapon. Okay? There are lots of things na gin-discuss na ito. Okay, number one, sale of goods sa ating mga pinalangga ng senior citizens and PWD. Number two, nag-enlist kita, no? Sa so different types of sales of exempt goods. Agricultural, fertilizers, books, medicines, passenger or cargo vessels, and aircraft. Okay? And number three, gin-discuss man natin ang sales of goods sa cooperatives. Okay? So, na-highlight nila, does not exceed 15,000. Okay? In excess to that, of course, magiging taxable na siya. And next line, accumulate, uh, accumulated reserves does not exceed 10 million. Okay? E para maging exempt siya sa ilang transaction. And regardless of the type of co-op, basta gani unrelated activities ha, subject to business taxes. Okay? Number four, sales of residential property so may alam kita dara mga uh, amounts no ngaging review naton ng dealer dealer and sale of adjacent plots okay export sales ging discuss man naton for non bad persons so exempted man na siya number 6 treaty exempt sales of goods mga 6 to ka exempt parties ngaging estate sa aton nga law okay tax free exchange of property so kung baga may discussion makita sa na separately and last natin nga discuss guys sale of gold not silver but the sale of gold sa the end sa Banko Sentral na Pilipinas okay then this part 2 sa ating uh, module 2 no exempt sales of services ang part 1 is exempt sales of goods and properties and sine i-discuss natin exempt sales of services so get ready your notes your books your ball pen highlighter if you are late say amen i sir i'm late magulang po no just type there sa ating live chat you know Again, this live video is dedicated to my Tax 42 class wherein there's a lot of challenges at the internet nowadays, especially in no? And we have no source and we have no choice also. Kundi mag-record it some video, post it sa YouTube, then we will go a class discussion, dira sa live chat, so dira ta mystery night today, okay? And I am so excited. Shout out to our notification squad, you know? Our uh, tawag ko kanil sa ila, actually, mga hype besh. <laughs> hype besh. Or sa, kung gusto niya, hype beast, you know. So, ready na? Say, I'm ready. Hashtag, I am ready. Okay. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, number one, exempted, okay? Bear in mind that, tapos na kita sa goods and properties. Services na ni. So, there's no good and properties na din eh. So, service na. Okay, number one, exempted. Mga schools na ton. Okay? May definition kita dere based sa ton nga revenue regulation. Okay? Educational services shall refer to academic, technical, or vocational education provided by private educational institutions. Duly accredited. Tanda natin guys. Accredited by DepEd, the CHED, and TESDA and those rendered by government educational institutions and it does not are yung excluded ha it does not include seminars okay in service training hindi na upod review classes like sa CPA board sa mga nursing board so hindi na upod so kumbaga taxable siya okay and sa babaw non taxable kumbaga uh, exempted na sa tonga taxes so, ang dire, ang does not include, amun siyang taxable. Okay? The persons who are not accredited, basta ganun yung mga hindi accredited sa DepEd, sa CHED, or TESDA, 
Amo na siya ang taxable. Ayos? Okay. That's number one. Okay, schools. So, lonely natin, guys. Okay? Number one, schools. Number two is employees. Okay? Ano ko na employees? Basta tandaan lang natin kung may na siya employer, employee relationship. Amo na siya kung ginatawag. It's not a business. And thus, exempted from business taxes. Which is, gindiscuss man natin sa previous natin nga. Uh, module. Professional practi practitioners, consultants, talents, TV artists, brokers, and agents are not employees. Hence, they are subject to business taxes. Kung baga, na-practice sila sa ila, nga profession. So, kung baga, hindi, wala sing employer. Okay? Hindi man sila matawag employee. Kung baga, example ako, CPA, na-practice ako sa akong nga profession and Kung baga, kulay ka ko sa income, gobra ko sa FS, gobra ko sa ilang eh, mga income tax returns, kung baga, no racket ko. So, kwa na subject to business tax. Okay, there's no employer, employee relationship. So, muna siya nga ito niya, panumdumod. So, exempted siya sa tax kung mayara na employer, employee relationship. Okay? Number one, school. Number two is employees. Number three na ito, Are agricultural co contract growers and millers. Doon daw nyo, agricultural, di ba mga agricultural products? So meaning, connected man na dito, kung ang goods exempted dito sa ating yung previous nga module, are ang mga millers kagag-growers, mga pinanglangga natin gagapananong, no? Exempted man na sila actually. Ha? Huh? Exempted siya sa tax. So, Sa dalong, agricultural contract growers refers to persons in producing for others poultry, livestock, or agricultural and marine food products in their importante rin eh, is a original state. So, kung hindi na siya original state, so, it's it's the same principle na mag-apply diri. Ta magiging taxable siya, guys. Okay? Kung hindi na siya original. Same man sa ito na previous discussion. Okay? Number four, okay, uh, school, kagina, number one. Number two is um, employees. Number three, agricultural contract covers and millers. Number four, residential leasing. So, umaga parenta, kaparenta sa mga boarding house. So, umaga per unit, 15,000 and below, exempted na regardless sa amount. Example, may building kita, no? Example, may building that si Gab, may ginapobra. Tapos, Natapos this year, tapos may rooms nga, 10, 10 ka rooms na parentahan niya sa uh, 15,000 each. So times 10, 150,000 income niya, di ba? Aggregate ang muna meaning sa rental. Regardless kung sa aggregate niya, basta ang per unit, ang historian na ide, per unit is 15,000 or below, exempted sa tax. Okay? Exempted siya basta 15,000 and below. Residential units refer to apartments and houses and lots for residential. Kung baga, puloy and lang and building or parts and all dormitories. Na mo na may example yan. Bed spaces. Are yung, ang exemption? Except motels, motel rooms, hotels, hotel rooms, lodging houses, inns, and pension houses. So, tanda na to na may exemption. May exemption siya. So, syempre, ang hotel, kumbaga ang rationalism na, ito hindi man siya residential eh. Kumbaga daw, looks, luxury na siya. Kumbaga ga stay, staycation ka sa hotel. Okay? Kumbaga ga, amagin na ang main business ang mga hotels, ang lodging houses. Kumbaga daw, hindi siya ya for uh, residential purposes. So, that's why, nagiging taxable siya. Hayos? Okay. Number five. Okay, cooperative services. The gross receipts from sales of, of services by co-ops, no? such as lending, marketing, multipurpose, are exempt actually. Exempt siya, similar to the rules under sales. Dung dumaan niya, at yung discussion about co-ops, same ang principle, same rules ang ma-apply din sa aton. Nga exempted man siya gapon sa uh, taxes. Okay. Ginawa na guys, ginawa. Absorb, inhale, exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Okay? Relax. I-recap na ton. <laughs> I-recap na ton. Okay? Number one. Ano mga exempted nga sa services? Schools. Okay? Employees. Ano sa employees? Wala. Kung baga daw may, may exempt siya kung may employer-employee relationship. No? Agricultural contract growers and millers. And residential leasing. Pilagane, 15,000 per unit. And number five, cooperative services. Okay? Solo? Solo na? Okay. Let's move on. Number six. Okay. Health or hospital services. Okay? Ang tandaan din na to, in general, okay, ang services ng hospital actually is exempted. Okay? Exempted siya sa uh, tax. Pero, may exempt siya. Except those rendered by professionals and sales of drugs by hospital drug, to- drugs, uh, drug stores. Okay? Example, may staff ako, no? Uh, nagbata siya. Okay? Nagbata sa hospital. Tapos, nung dumaan niya na, kisa, may arang nga doctor's fee or separate sa hospital na service. May arang nga separate nga sa room charge. Okay? Tapos, may arang sa dalawang professional fee. So, muna siya actually ang except ang professional fee na da. Okay? Nga ginarender sa professional within that uh, hospital, ang muna taxable. Okay? Para mas mentiondian pag ginato, no? Basahan pag ginato. Health services rendered by private, non-profit, or government hospital are not subject to business tax. While health services, are giliwat na naman, rendered by professional and the sale of drugs are batable. Kung baga, are, hospital services including laboratory services, exempted siya yan. Okay? Ang mga, like for example, mga na-confined, no? Nga ito, nga pinalangga, nga pasyente. So, example may nagbaligya dito, di ba? May kinanglan baklon. Ang naka-confined na pasyente. May kinanglan baklon. Okay? Ang gimbakalya dito, since essential part siya sa hospital and medical services, they are exempted. Kailangan ko, basta na-confined na patient, may required na bulong, so, pagbakal sa bulong sa hospital, provide exempted to siya. Okay? okay? Ang opposite sina is ang outpatient. So, inpatient, meaning confined, and outpatient, meaning non-confined. Taxable na siya. Kung do mga walk-in lang, walk-in sa hospital. So, huwag muna siya ang, ang taxable. Kung do as if bala nagbakal ka sa pharmacy, except of course sa ito yung mga insulin or related sa diabetes and lowering cholesterol amon to siya ang exempted okay regardless senior ka man PWD regular exempted na so ang direng yun istoryahan is ang na-confine nagbakal sa bulong tapos ang outpatient checkup or consultation fees charged by the hospital outpatient clients is an exempt sale of hospital service so tandaan din ako pero me guys ha ang mga mga exempt or mga isang exempt or amun yung usual na taxable tapos amun yung non-tax. Okay? Approve? So, pag sa health or hospital services, duwa pa nung dumunaton. Okay? May part siya nga non-taxable or exempt tapos may part man siya nga taxable. Okay? Okay. Number seven, homeowners association or Condominium Corporation. Okay, Homeowners Association. Example, sa mga subdivision or sa, di ba, may ara na uh, ginapatukod uh, nila, mga association. In general, kuha na siya, uh, in- exempted sila sa business tax. Kung, are, nakahighlight nila, a purely reimbursement basis by Homeowners Association and Condominium na exempted from business tax. Makes May arin din sa dalong, paano siya naging taxable? Okay? If it is being operated as if it sells services, it services to its member from which it derives, kung ka-markup siya, okay? Ang kinalain sa babaw, reimbursement, meaning, example, may gasto, nagpa-reimburse ka lang sa 
asosasyon. So, wala sing markup, right? Hindi rin naman sa dalong, though, gabaliga ka sa service mo, tapos ginamarkapan mo. So, kumbaga, within that association. So, that's the time. Kung magbalaan nga yung BIR ka, ah, may markup na or may profit ang koo. Or ang, rather, atong nga uh, association, no? So, dira na magiging taxable, okay? So, homeowners association, meron siya nga, uh, exempted sa business tax, may part man siya nga, uh, subject to business tax. Okay? Number eight, okay? Lease of passenger or cargo vessels and aircraft. So, kung baga, dira rin taka, including engine equipment and spare parts thereof for domestic or international transport operations. Ang exempted lang sini actually is ang yacht, fishing boat, and private jets. Because, okay, ang tandaan na to, not intended for passenger or cargo transport and has, hence, taxable siya. Ginagamit ka niya sa public or sa mga pampasahero, kumbaga, general public, kumbaga, ang goal sa government is uh, ma-entice, no? Ma-entice ang uh, mga operators, ang cargo, aircraft, or sang mga pampasahero. So, para at least, mas lesser ang ila nga, bayaran nga tax. Pero, kung example, lagulagaw sila because ang yacht, some fishing boats, where in ga earn siya sang income, so, magiging taxable niya siya. So, because not intended siya sa passenger or cargo transport. Kung baga may purpose siya, right? Ang yacht, syempre, vacation, di ba? Kapi ka na sa COVID ba? Masakay ko na, kuha na isa ko nga yate, no? Patakaan ka na di sa Iluilo, so lagaw-lagaw ka na. Fishing boat, of course, ang purpose siya na, magita sa gisda, si Baliga, of course, for profit siya. So, hindi siya ya for passenger, okay? Ayos, number eight. Number nine, treaty exempt services. So, dumdumay nyo to, may ara kita nga exempt sa sales of Uh, goods and properties nga treaty exam same one sa service kung baka no same definition lang siya actually okay transactions which are exempt under na international kung baga doon may kung may policy in, between two countries nga ay sa among country exempted niya so dapat Philippines kung baka to dang ano ang akong nga citizen exempted man siya right so is a signatory or under special law. So, may mga law na gaginasay na ang Philippines and uh, different countries. Ayos? Okay. Before kita mag-recap, uh, ikaw na ito na number 10. Regional Area Headquarters. Okay? Basta ako natin para mas ma-insintihan pag yun natin. What's the theory behind it? Okay? Services rendered by regional or area headquarters Okay, established in the Philippines, sa sulod sa Philippines by multinational corporation. Multinational meaning different countries, no? Which act as a supervisory communication and coordinating centers for their affiliates, subsidiaries, or branches in the Asia Pacific region, and do not earn or derive income from the Philippines. Okay, and technique nila para maging non-taxable siya or exempt siya ng service kung ang last part na ito, do not earn or derive income from the Philippines. Kung baga daw, kung ano lagi siya yan, daw supervisory, lagi daw ang purpose sa mga muna nga regional area or headquarters. Okay? A regional or area headquarters or RA, okay? R-A-H or R-H group. Okay? Okay? Regional headquarter is an integral part of the multinational corporation. Kung baga, kinanglanggit siya yan. So, example sa Philippines, patukod sila as a coordinating center. Okay? It is not a separate business or a branch. Hindi siya yan separate nga, ah, mapatindog ko to branch. Tapos ma-earn siya sa income. Wala siya ga-earn income. Kung baga daw, headquarter lang yun siya yan. Okay? But an administrative office na underscore administrative office which does not derive income on its own. Wala siya ga, kumbaga, ga-derive or ga-earn sa income. Kay admin office malang libla. 
Example base, may mga offices, di ba? Ka-batik mo na, ay ma'am, admin office lang din. Ang amon nga, no? Sa Manila, amon yung sales. So, anywhere, di ba? Which does not derive income on its own. Hence, it is not subject to business tax. So, there's no business tax sila ba yan? Because admin of... On the other hand, okay, yari tandaan ito. Sa piyak na banda, Okay? So, since hindi siya taxable because, well, admin office, right? On the other hand, a regional ari, operating headquarter. So, tanda na na, ROHQ. So, lain man siya sa RHQ. Nagbutangan lang sang RO. Ano meaning sang O? Operating. So, opposite sina is operating. Of course, may operation siya. So, ga-earn siya sa income. So, taxable siya. Okay, RHQ versus ROHQ. Ang isa, uh, but ex- uh, accepted sa tax. Ang isa naman, this hardship is worth it. Kayo po ka naman. That you will never leave us nor forsake us. Palangga mo kami, you know. Regardless kung ano mga amon nga past, amon mga mistakes in the past. Lord, thank you for your son Jesus who died on that cross for our sins. And we receive your forgiveness. Lord, salamat sa forgiveness. Hata mo sa In the mightiest name of Jesus, I pray. Everybody say, Amen. 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 So guys, thank you again for your time. And hopefully may nakuha ka mo. Bisan sa malipot natin nga time today. And yeah, it's time to sleep. <laughs> it's time. Uh, may time pa ako mag-edit gamay. And I am so... I'm so, kumaga, I'm so excited for the next session naman. Tomorrow, please uh, join with us again sa ating topic for the percentage tax. Again, this is LV and I am, kumaga, I am your millennial instructor tonight. And I am so thankful again. I love you guys. And hopefully, yeah, we could meet up soon. Yeah? See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.